Let's speak Korean. Je 106회 먹을만 해요. 안녕하세요. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Let's Speak Korean. I'm your host, Lisa Kelly, and welcome to our 106th show. And today's main expression is 먹을 만 해요. Uh, how shall we translate this? It's edible. It's worth eating. It's worth a try. Give it a try. It's, it's, it's not that bad. And actually, uh, 만날 만 해요. He's, he's not that bad, you know, once you get to know him. And say hello to Stephen. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> 안녕하세요. I'm Stephen Revere. I like that one, edible. Uh, <laughs> it's... It, it, and that's a good comparison, you know. Yes. I, it's not wonderful, but I'll eat it. It's worth eating. Meatable. Right? <laughs> Meatable, okay. <laughs> yeah. Worth meeting. Okay. And we've got two students over here as well who are worth meeting. And we have a new country representative, too. 안녕하세요. 네오미입니다. Hi. Hi. 안녕하세요. My name is Pravir, and I'm from Bangladesh. Yeah. How do you say that? Bravir? Bravir. Yeah. Bravir. Yeah. Okay, mm. I'm sure my Remind me not bad, to pronounce <laughs> that. Oh, I can feel that. And I hear you're uh, attending Kongguk University right yeah. now. Could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, um, I have been here in Korea uh, it's about one year. Mm -hmm. And I'm studying in Kongguk University mm -hmm. when I first came in Korea. Mm -hmm. And it's very interesting right. to, yeah. Do you like Korea? How, what do you think of, about Korean people yeah. and Korean food? And yeah, the Korean, uh, the Korean people. They're very interesting people, and I like them. Mm -hmm. mm. And the um, the Korean food, uh -huh. actually, uh, still it's a it's a it's a little um, spicy. Uh, yeah, it's a <laughs> very <laughs> spicy for me still now. Right. Do you drink? No. No, you don't yeah. drink. Yeah. Okay. Well, that makes Korea a little tougher. Koreans like to drink. Yeah. <laughs> the Koreans are they just accept you with open arms the minute you meet them and that's that's really something in wonderful general, about in general. Yes. yes. I mean, when I go to other countries, I feel like, you know, a foreigner when I'm there. Uh -huh. uh, I am. Uh -huh. But then in Korea, the minute you say 안녕하세요, they're like, "Oh, you speak Korean." <laughs> do they do that to you all the time? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Koreans get very very friendly as soon as they find out that you're mm. putting in the effort to learn the language. I know some places, France, they don't usually care if you're trying to learn the language. Sometimes right. they like it, but in general, they kind of like whatever you're learning the language. But in Korea, they love the fact that you're putting in the effort. So that's kind of cool. Right. Well, let's go and find out what we're learning today. Let, here's Let's Do It. Let's do it. 만두 맛이 어때요? 괜찮아요. 먹을만해요. Okay, we heard uh, some food in there. We heard mandu. This mm -hmm. is a delicious food that we have in Korea. And we can see it right here on the table. What it is is uh, dumplings in English, I guess. Mm -hmm. And it's got um, meat and it's got vegetables and sometimes a little noodle mm -hmm. marinated together inside the uh, layer. Every and country it's has its own version of this, yes, don't they? Do. I think so. We have to. We uh -huh. have to. We have a kind of mandu that's called. Ravioli. Ravioli. Yeah, they're, they're huh? Really good. They're, they're inside there is some cheese, some vegetables. Right. Sure. The, sure. The sauce is different, but yes. otherwise it's pretty much the same. Wontons, Wontons in, China, in China. And we, I, we call them pot stickers a lot in America too, really? I heard. Yeah. All right. Anyways, the expression we heard is mandu mashi oteo. How does the mandu taste? And uh, what I'd like to find, mat means taste, right? Mm -hmm. And it ends with the S at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's hard to just, well, it's not hard to say, but what we would you originally say is mandu mat othel, but a lot of the times we add the E after it because it's easier to pronounce. Well, that's uh, the subject marker, right? right? You're and adding the subject another marker. Way, mm -hmm. Another word that we use this is ot too, for clothes, mm -hmm. okay? E ot othel, we usually say e oshi othel. It's easier to say. Why don't we try that? Mandu mm, mashi othel. Okay. Oh, she's gonna really try it, okay? <laughs> can, I, can I? Sure, well, sure. that's okay. Sure. All right. Mandu mm. um, mashi othel. Mm. It's good? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good? Yeah. <laughs> it's been sitting there for about half an hour, I don't know. I don't think it's so good. I'm going to bet it's not so good. Now, on this expression here, uh, you notice, yes, you can say mat otel, and then you're not adding the subject marker. You put the subject marker in there, and it becomes mashi otel. You can add this right after the name of any food. 
This is a little bit different from English because we would not say, how is the taste of the mandu? We would just say, how's the mandu? Which is okay in Korean too. You could also say, mandu atteo. And that's fine too. Mandu ga atteo is fine too. Let's go over a few tastes. How okay. would you say sweet in Korean? Are you familiar with sweet in Korean? Now the original form that they usually say mm. is talda, right? Mm -hmm. And then, have you heard of talkumhada? Okay. Well, they, they add the kum there, mm -hmm. and that means it's, it's, it's a little more than sweet. Yeah, you it's wouldn't use that for candy, would mm -hmm. you? use that for a dressing, mm -hmm. a salad dressing or something like that. Dalkum, and it's a very positive expression. Yes, it means right? it's good. It's, it's mm -hmm. good in a positive way. It's mm -hmm. tasty and sweet, mm -hmm. okay? What about salty? Jada. Jada. Jada, right. For, mm -hmm. That's very negative. And then if you want to use salty in a positive way, oh, it's a good salty flavor, then you would say mm -hmm. chap jada. Chap jada uh -huh. And then uh, I guess the other one we should oh, learn is oh. bitter. Bitter. Bitter is good. Bitter or sour, do you know? Sida. Mm -hmm. Which one do you know? Shingida. Oh, well, we'll get Shida. to that one in a second. Okay, a, Shida. I think, I think he's going bland, oh. which is Shingop. Shingopta. It means it doesn't have enough flavor. Okay. Which is conjugated, mm -hmm. by the way, which is conjugated the same way as spicy, mepta, mm -hmm. right? Shingopta, shingowayo. Okay, shingowayo. Mm. Uh, Korea has just, I think a lot of the culture has to do with food, and so we end up talking about food a lot here, and they've got lots of expressions describing food and its flavor. Anyways, having done that, <laughs> that's right. Having done that, let's go to our main expression, okay? Mm. We said, 괜찮아요, 먹을만해요. We know 괜찮아요, it means it's okay. 먹을만해요. It's worth eating, it's mm. edible, it's, it's not that bad is what you're expressing. And uh, what I like to say about this expression is when you say something is 만해요, it's, you're not expressing too much. You're not saying it's great and you're not saying it's not bad, it's, it's right in between. So it's a good expression to have in your vocabulary. So let's look at the conjugation really quickly. You've got, th we've got this same form that repeats time and again, doesn't it? If you've got the pachim, you add the u uh in front of the li and it becomes mogul manel, right? And then let's say you don't have the pachim, you don't have the final consonant. Mashida. You want me to you want me to do mashida? That's the <laughs> verb that I always use that doesn't have a final consonant. And then it would become Mashil Maneo. Very good. Yes. Yeah. Boda. Hmm? Boda. Okay, yeah. yeah, to see a movie, right? right. Boda. I'll, I'll ask you the question, okay? Ku Yongha Otel, how is the movie? How would you say uh, that in that? It's structure? okay. Yeah. Ku Yongha. Bulmanheo. It's mm. worth seeing. Can you think of another verb that you can use with this expression? Mm. Have you been to Jeju-do? Ah, Jeju-do Kabulmanheo. That's right. Yes. It's really worth going. I actually mm. came back from there several months ago. It's wonderful. I love it. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go on to wrap it up. Wrap it up with Lisa and Steven. Mandu mashi otteyo? I'm Quintanao, Mogul Maneo. Tung Mai, Mogul Maneo? Tung Taji Man, Mogul Maneo. Okay, uh, that was pretty funny. Okay, um, all right, we heard the expression earlier. We said something that has too much flavor or salty is Jada. And we heard this in the Wrap It Up corner. We heard Jum. Jajiman, mm. okay, Mogulman Hail mm -hmm. is what we heard. Okay, it's a little bit salty or it's got too much flavor, but it's it's worth eating. And you you can use this expression a lot. If it, something's a little bland, like we just taught, what are you gonna say? Chum shingop jiman ah mogulman hail, right? Or something oh, right, a little spicy. Good, good, go for it. It's a little spicy, but it's, it's worth, worth eating. eating. Okay. Okay. And actually, uh, uh, it's, I, it's regretful, but our program, our program is Okay, it's worth seeing. It's a little short, but it's worth watching. Okay, please come back next time and watch another 10 minutes with mm. us. Okay, come back to Let's Speak Korean next time. Bye-bye. Thanks, everybody. And in the meantime, hide it on TV.com.